Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday, March 27th. Um, it's like day 11 of having coal. And today I am like probably the best day that I have felt mood wise and pretty good this morning. Um, so I don't know what that means. Um, hopefully I'm getting over the baby blues. Um, it's been pretty intense. The last couple yesterday was really bad and I think it was because my husband went back to work yesterday and it was really hard with him not being here but my aunt come over and actually kept me company pretty much all day until he got home and it made me feel a lot better to have them here I was um, at least able to get a shower yesterday <laughs> but um, we just kind of hung out and watched some lifetime movies yesterday and took care of little man he was Yesterday, he was eating probably the most food that he has been eating. Um, he's getting big, guys. Like, I can't believe. I just looked at him, and I had, like was like, dang, he looks big <laughs> compared to when we brought him home. It's already making me sad. But So, I ate breakfast this morning. Like, I, was, I have been so, like, like, moody and just have not felt like myself. And I don't really want to talk about it because then I will get to crying because it's just been hard to adjust to having a baby. But um, now that I'm like figuring out Cole a little more, it's a lot more like I feel a lot more confident. And we are formula feeding now. Um, he is on Infamil at the moment and he seems to be doing really well on it. Um, he hasn't had as many poopy diapers which i'm gonna ask the pediatrician about that tomorrow but i mean he's still pooping it just when he was on my breast milk he had like a poopy diaper like almost every time i would change his diaper so i don't really know how much um or how many poopy diapers he's supposed to be having he had one um this morning i think it was like five o'clock this morning he did have one but he didn't have one like since yesterday when my aunt was here so I felt like that was like a long period of time he went without having one but I don't know it might be normal I heard that like babies on formula don't poop as much I don't know if that's true or not um, but the infant meal doesn't have like a lot a lot of iron in it either I don't think and he seems to like it as far as it doesn't hurt his stomach or anything he oh my god you guys I have to show you when he eats he's so funny um, he is just like um, constantly got his hands up here which if you look at my ultrasound pictures he has his hands up by his face and literally that's how he still is like he's always got his hands up in his face and it's just kind of funny he's in his swing at the moment but um, I think he's waking up he's been in there for about 45 minutes I was able to get laundry folded and I took time to eat breakfast <laughs> So um, I'm like adjusting a lot more. Last night was a pretty successful night of me like figuring him out as far as putting him into bed and um, because I was having trouble with that because I'd put him down and he would like wake up and it was stressing me out because I was like when is he going to go to sleep but me and my husband kind of figured out that he likes to be swaddled a lot more um, and it kind of helps him go off to sleep a little better. So, um, we, I've been doing that, and we kind of just got to put him down really fast, and then he'll stay asleep. So, he's just, it's just trying to figure out the new baby, and it's been hard. Um, it's been really, really hard. <laughs> but like I said, I can't talk about it right now because I will cry about it, but maybe I can make a video talking about it, but hopefully it's just the baby blues. Um, I think it's all it is. I'm sure like I said I woke up this morning and I just feel a lot better today I don't know I feel more confident um, taking time to eat because I will be honest with you guys I haven't ate a whole bunch and honestly I just haven't like took the time to like go and eat something I've, I mean I've ate food but like nothing to compare to when I was pregnant um, I've lost a lot of weight, so I don't even, I'm kind of anxious to know what I weigh, but I know I've lost a lot of weight. So, look, look, Quacker's waking up. It's funny, he does this other thing too, like when he gets mad, he'll get quack, he sounds like a duck. Hey, 
all the the viewers want to see you. All the viewers want to see the big boy. Oh, I know. See, I want to eat, Mom. I want to eat. Okay, let's eat. Look who's laying on his puppy. Look at the big boy on his puppy. See, I just ate a bunch of food. And now I'm wide awake. And I'm just looking around, ain't ya? <laughs> Hasn't quite figured out what these things are yet, but he's been looking at them. Haven't you? You've been looking around, huh? He's a very good baby. The only cries or quacks, as me and Scott say, we call him the duck because he quacks before he'll cry. He'll just go, wah! <laughs> it's really funny. And other than that, he's a, he's a really good, content baby. He doesn't like fuss or... He's very, very chill. Aren't ya? What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Are you just relaxing? Are you just looking around? Are you just looking around? So, it's later in the evening now. It's about I think it's, hold on, I'll tell you guys, 8.35, Cole's been sleeping for a couple hours, and we woke him up, and he's super, super mad, um, but I wanted to get him up a little bit, so he's not um, up all night. I kind of took his nap late today because um, his auntie, Joni and Emmy were here and I think he was just, he was like really alert today. Like today was the first day that he's been this alert. Like he was looking around like all day and he has had to do that. Today is day 11 by the way. I've been keeping track of the days since I've had him. Um, Friday will make two weeks, which is crazy. Um, time is already flying. He looks so much different from his pictures from when he was born. He's just growing already. So yeah, um, update on me. I'm doing so much better. Today is actually the very first day that I've had interest in doing things. Um, other, you know, like just, like actually made dinner. I, uh, got laundry going right now. I've been... Um, I just feel like my old self, so today I've just been like so much happier and I've kind of been learning more about Cole every day and just catching on even more like now with diapers and everything, so it's getting better, so I just want to say keep praying for me, but I feel a lot better today, so anyways, I'm ready to go to bed though, oh my god. It's so hard with no sleep. Like, um, well, I slept somewhat last night, but it's really hard being sleep deprived. My husband is really tired too, and uh, it's just it's it's a lot. <laughs> but we are doing really well, just to let you guys know. And thank you for the prayers and stuff. Um, we're getting the hang of things. He has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know how that goes and if he's gained any weight. I have a feeling that he's gained weight because he is turning into a chunk monk and all he wants to do is eat. So I'm going to have to show you guys when I feed him what he does. It's funny what he does with his hands and uh, he gets all excited for the bottle. It's really funny. So yeah. And yeah, I think that's all. He and my husband have had like this whole evening since he's come home to ourselves because Cole's been asleep. <laughs> so we ate dinner, we talked a little bit, watched a little TV, I went and took a shower. <laughs> and um, that's what's going on. Now we're both really tired and ready to go to sleep. 
So hopefully Cole Scott took him back right now to sleep because he fell asleep after he ate a little bit of the bottle. He took him back to see if he go back to bed. And if he does, I'm going to bed. And I should have went to bed earlier whenever Cole went to bed. But I wanted to visit with my husband, you know? So, yeah. go to bed it is 8 40 um me and my husband have been doing this thing where like he will put Cole to bed for me and he's out there right now with him all swaddled up feeding him getting him to go to sleep and then he'll bring him back and put him in his pack and play and then I take over night shift <laughs> which is um the hardest part for me because whenever I go to sleep and get in one of those you know where I'm actually sleeping good for like an hour or two or whatever it is it's really hard for me to wake up and like get awake and tend to him that's the worst part for me like it just like I just want like a full night of sleep would be so nice but um yeah anyways cole is he, every day that goes by he's getting more alert he's getting more active he was he's more and more different every day and he was actually out there cooing a while ago and um yeah we haven't heard him like do a lot of that since the night he was born he cooed all night that night and they say babies don't do that until they get a little older but i swear to god the night he was born, he made those noises the whole night. And then he never did it since until tonight. <sighs> so yeah, today is Wednesday. <laughs> um, I don't know if I updated you guys. Oh yeah, we went to the doctor's appointment. Which um, is not until next Wednesday. I had the dates wrong. So I felt stupid showing up there. And then they were like, oh, well, your appointment's not until um, next Wednesday. I'm just like crap but guys I think because my brain has been so scattered and like me being so tired that I just thought that it was today and I'm sure I wrote it down on the calendar I didn't think to double check it um I'm s <laughs> another thing I noticed just the last couple of days is that I'm like slurring my speech it's like I'm so messed up and it's like not from having sleep that I can't talk right <laughs> Um, I've been grinding this side of my mouth for some reason and I haven't even realized that I'm doing it but my teeth are sore and I don't know if it's because I'm just like from the stress that I was under the last week or what it was but um yeah I don't know if I wanted to update you guys on that too real quick I'm gonna let you guys know that I am doing so much better I actually laughed really hard a while ago at Cole <laughs> he's just so funny when it's time to feed him he just gets all psyched up and it's hilarious. So um, I laughed so hard a while ago. First time that I've laughed like that since having him. So that felt really good to like laugh. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling so much better. Every day that goes by I'm getting more and more used to, to everything I guess. And um, yeah, it's just like a dramatic change, you know. And people will tell you that, like, before you have a baby, like, they'll tell you, like, all this stuff that you're in for. And you just don't really, you can't comprehend it because you're so used to your life being a certain way that you just don't think about, like, how dramatic it's going to be. Like, 
because you don't know until it happens to you and then when it happens and you realize that your life is forever different um it's kind of traumatic in a way because you, all all i kept thinking about was my life before and to some of you guys that might sound really bad but what it was is that i was remembering what is that word remembering scene i don't know of my life with me and my husband and um it wasn't it had nothing to do with me feeling like i didn't want my baby or anything like that but um when you're down and you're feeling like the way that i was feeling i'd like to make a separate video about it but honestly i can't really explain to you guys the feeling of it and my mom could relate because she's actually been depressed before um i used to be one of the people that thought like depression was all in your head and i know that it's not um but i ain't never experienced it before so i just thought oh well that's not gonna happen to me mm, well i don't think depression happened to me but i think the baby blues is pretty serious it's a serious feeling anyways at the time that you're experiencing it it feels like you're depressed because you don't understand like why you feel this way and it was really weird for me because i never felt like that um i basically just felt really numb and like i just felt like i was on autopilot like every day and it just felt like even though i was in my house that i've been in for so long you know used to everything it did not feel like my house like nothing felt the same like nothing did and it just made me sad like i was like why am i feeling like myself i couldn't eat um i lost all kind of weight but yeah i don't know why i'm telling you guys all this i was gonna make a separate video so maybe i will but i just want to tell you guys that i'm going to bed but if you guys want to know more about how i was feeling let me know down below and I'll talk more about it. But, um, it'll probably do me some good to get it out and talk about it. But honestly, sometimes when I start talking about it to other people or just even with my husband a while ago, I just started crying just because talking about it is kind of hard because it makes me remember the feeling and I just did not like it. And, um, it's just awful. So anyways... Tomorrow, Marissa is coming over. She's bringing me an iced coffee, which is really nice. I'm looking forward to it. Um, other than that, my husband's got to go back to work. Today was his day off. He's off on Sunday. My mom, I think, is going to take Cole this weekend for a couple days. I mean, not like all night or anything like that. Just for like a couple hours during the day. So I might take a nap. <laughs> I say that I'm going to and then I don't, but I need to, guys. I really need to like get caught up on sleep it's hard that's the hardest thing is not having sleep i think if i had sleep i'd be like even more better so yeah i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow what do you say there goober huh Whew, you guys are gonna be scared by this sight but I have spit up on my shirt, boogers on my pants. <laughs> Seriously, welcome to motherhood, right? So, um, it's like 5, honestly, I don't know, maybe almost 6. It is so warm outside. This is like the warmest day that we've had where I think it got to like, 70 or 80 degrees it is so nice i had to come out for just a second just to take a breather my husband's home now which i'm so happy always much better when he's here um i'm getting better just so you guys can know i think i say that every day when i update you guys but i am getting better with my moods and i think i would be like I'd be like 100% guys if I had sleep, but um, I'm really tired today. So my mom is going to take Cole, I think on Saturday, 
and I think I might just come down here and go to sleep. I'm serious because I really need to go to sleep like and sleep. I'm not talking like one or two hours at a time. I'm talking like sleep. Oh, I don't even remember what that's like to sleep for seven or eight hours. I need to sleep for like two days. But yeah, it's really nice. The cats are enjoying the weather. Um, my husband is feeding Cole right now. He's just woke up from his nap. He got out of his swing. I've been trying to figure that boy out a little bit more every day. Um, I figured out how to get him to go down pretty good in the swing for naps. Now, I'm going to try the bouncer chair next because I would like to be able to shower when nobody is here, but I don't want to leave him out in the living room in the swing, you know, unattended when I'm back in the shower. I don't want to do that, so... I want to take the bouncer seat back. Oh God, I hope these people ain't coming up here to see me. I'm a freaking mess. Oof. But um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot, lot better. But I want to figure out how to take the bouncer seat back while I am getting a shower. But I don't know if he'll sit in it. Well, he'll sit in it, obviously. You can strap him in it, but I mean, like, without throwing too much of a fit. But hey, I let him fuss this morning a little bit just because I don't want to not let him fuss because it's probably good for him to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not making sense, but I'm really tired. Don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. My brain is not working. But um, all of our flowers are starting to come up, so that's good. Oh, I gotta go in and tell my husband about the river rocks at our old house. My friend Carla come out to see Cole today, and my friend Mar Marissa come and brought me an iced coffee, which was so nice of her. And she also brought me a can of formula, because I was getting low on the other can, and then I just paid her back for it. So that was super nice of her to do that. And um, so yeah, both of my friends got to see Cole today. It was really, really nice. Um, my other friend, Steph, hasn't been out yet, but I'm sure she'll be out soon whenever she gets a chance. She works all the time, so. Cats love the weather. I don't know where the other cat is, but these two love it. So, yeah, I gotta go tell my husband about the River Rock thing because my friend Carla, that lives in our old house, said that we could have the River Rocks. For the flower beds because my husband wants to do um, river rocks all the way around the flower beds which I think will probably be nice so yeah ow if I didn't just get a splinter I'll show you guys the baby because I know that's what you guys want to see for a minute so, did you sleep it again I th it looks like it is that your trick there the, the rough patten or the stroking a little bit of both a little bit like this yeah and like this and that works pretty good. Now you tell me. I'd say so. He's out. How's he even breathing? Well, his. <laughs> he just like implanted his face right in your neck. You didn't draw this. I was under duress. I was being threatened by Jeremy Edwards. Jeremy was going to force Justin to have normal sex with a girl. freaking lawn over there hey guys so it's been forever <laughs> since I vlogged last I don't even remember the last time that I vlogged with you guys I think it was a few days ago um, I've been having um, a hard time with everything as far as like my emotions have been all over the place and it's really really strange um, with a new baby I'm in town right now. I just got gas and um, went to McDonald's, got me a coffee because I really needed coffee. My mom has coal right now and um, another really awful unfortunate thing happened this morning. And um, basically Lucy, our cat, had stones again and it's Saturday so there was no doctor or vets in today the closest one was in Kaiser so um we basically made a decision to put Lucy down um, on our own which 
my brother took care of it because we didn't want to see him suffer so um, that's been on my mind as well so I'm going through a lot right now but um, honestly I went to the dollar store and I went to McDonald's and then I got gas and now I'm going back home I guess or going to my mom's I guess but um, I feel so much better just to get out of the house I think a lot to do with me being very emotional has been that like I've been stuck in my house um, all day and like it's just been like it literally felt like I was in jail or something um, I was gonna make a video maybe talking to you guys more about um, how I'm feeling and stuff but I don't want to make the video maybe until I'm like six weeks postpartum or like a month or something because I don't want to make it right now just in case like I will end up feeling a lot better hopefully before it's too long I do feel really good today like I feel very like a lot better in my head today um, than what I've been feeling but I just want to be honest with you guys like having a baby is the hardest thing that I've ever been through in my life it is um, it's really hard to talk about because then I'll get emotional so um, and I do want to make a video you know I want to update like do a update um, yesterday was cold two week um, mark so he's two weeks old which is insane he's growing so much already and he's a little chunk monk and he's so funny he already has his own little personality and he's he's just so sweet and um, I don't even really know how to explain to you guys if any of you has ever had like the baby blues before or after you've had a baby like the dramatic change that you go from and you can't prepare for it before you have a baby people can tell you about it and you they can um, they can like I don't know they can warn you about it but unless you've ever been kind of in that situation you'll never know until you go through it so um, I've been you know dealing with that for two weeks probably um, on and off like some days are better than other days and some days I feel like really good like today I feel completely like really good in my head other than I'm tired um, I think sleep would be um, another key to making me feel better um, I even kind of like thought about thinking about in the future like not right now I don't think but maybe in the future of some sort maybe going to work one day a week or something of to do cleaning or I don't know yet I just thought that it might do good for me because I really do well um, keeping busy and that's another thing that I've struggled with with a baby is that um, I can't get anything done <laughs> I can't um, I mean I'm figuring out my son a lot more now like his sleep patterns and like how how we have to put him to sleep he has to fall asleep in our arms to go to sleep and it's just been a tricky situation with a two week old baby and um, I've just had a lot of stress so like my mom helped me yesterday and took him for like a good while yesterday and gave me a break it was really needed I tried to nap but I couldn't nap um, but yesterday was really hard day I had just a really emotional day um, the hardest part is me letting go of my past of like I don't know the hardest thing that I've struggled with is the fact that it's not me and my husband anymore and I have to like move on you know like that's the hardest thing for me honestly everything else is good like I don't have bad feelings toward my baby or anything like that I don't I, I love my son and I feel happy to have him you know and everything it's just the state that you're in when you feel the baby blues um, you just feel kind of like lonely and just like you feel like will I ever feel okay again you know but like everybody keeps telling me that it'll get better as time goes on so I do believe that because when we first got home like the very first week was probably the hardest week for me um, and even though my husband was there, which was super helpful, and I really miss my husband being at home with me, I think has a lot to do with me feeling um, 
just kind of you know lonely and I do really well when people come over like my aunt's been over a couple days to keep me company um, my friends have come over one day to keep me company and that really helps me oh my gosh you guys I just dropped my freaking McChicken on the floor guys and I really wanted that too so I'm um, really upset now um, hopefully it's not too dirty because I really want to eat it <laughs> I got me an iced coffee too and I'm almost home back to the house now but it was nice to get out it really did feel good to drive my car again and like feel like a human being again because um, that's another thing that you don't really you just don't feel like you're a part of the world anymore when your baby's here with the baby blues and um, I've read somebody's other or I watched somebody else's video talking about that how you are still a part of the world and don't forget to remind yourself that so I thought that was really interesting, but I'm gonna go and try to pick this McChicken up before it completely falls to shit. And I'm really upset because I really wanted that and uh, it might be disgusting now because my car is dirty. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I don't even remember what I vlogged, but give me a thumbs up if you did. And you guys wanna see more um, of my life and you wanna see Cole. We're actually taking his Easter pictures today. Um, so yeah, definitely look out on Instagram for a new picture of him and you guys can see him. He'll be two weeks old and yeah, so we're doing that today. Tomorrow's Easter, so happy Easter to you guys. I love you guys very much. Subscribe. Thank you guys for your prayers and um, your comments and everything. It really just means a lot to me to have you guys also tell me that, you know, it'll get better and things will get better and I do believe that. I'm already feeling better. But I think it's going to take some time to really get used to everything and have like a new routine again. And that's basically, I think what will do good for me is to have another routine down. Because right now it's just kind of like not that way. And I'm a routine person, so it's really hard. So anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.